Good morning, health lovers. It's Mercedes, and welcome back to Vegan Flower Child. Welcome, welcome. So you all, nature has to be my favorite place. If you cannot tell when the summer's here, I am definitely outside. I'm just feeling the windy, cool air. It's not too cool, so I feel super great out here. And I also wanna show you, I just found a faux strawberry. I don't know where it went though, here it is. But it's a tiny baby strawberry. It's bitter and it doesn't taste like a sweet strawberry and definitely don't go in the woods eating berries because you don't know if it's poisonous or not. <laughs> it's just I was connected with this forager group and they gave me information about that. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the topic at hand, you all. Okay, so is it hard being vegan? You all, four years into the journey or almost four years on September 1st, I will say that being vegan definitely had its challenges at first but now those same challenges they don't exist and i feel like that's a part of growing in a journey is figuring out how it works for you figuring out how to tailor it and then you overcome the challenges of it and you just start enjoying the benefits and that's the point that i'm at enjoying the benefits so i want to tell you the challenges that i had and the benefits that i've received so you can you know <laughs> understand that you are going to overcome those challenges and that you will receive goodness from a vegan lifestyle okay so you all the number one challenge for me would have had to be convenience so i want to first before i tell you that tell you that i went vegan after i was vegetarian for an entire year all right so it wasn't an overnight process for me and I think that's really good because doing it in bite-sized pieces really helped me to not be so overwhelmed because I can't imagine now looking back if I would have tried to just go vegan overnight because I was learning how to be vegetarian and then learning how to be vegan, that was a whole different ball game, you all, okay? So convenience. When I was vegetarian, I was still eating a bunch of processed food, you all, and a bunch of fast food and that wasn't good for my body so i'm really grateful that i'm not at that point anymore but when i felt like it wasn't convenient anymore i was like oh wow so there are other things that i have to do in this journey to help me along i just thought it was going to be um very simple at first like i would i was just trying to take my old lifestyle and make it my new lifestyle and that's not how it went and thank god because if it didn't go like that i'd still be eating a bunch of fast food so you all, I had to learn how to cook again. I had to find different places around the city that I can get something quick and healthy from. And I will say that for a while it did feel inconvenient because learning how to cook foods that I've never had in my life before, like quinoa, learning how to make chickpea salad, learning how to cook beets, like just all this food that was foreign to me. I was just like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> and it's certain foods four years in, I'm still learning how to get the texture and the taste of it right in order to enjoy it the most that I can. So you all, convenience will be a thing for just a little while. You have to stick with it because now I feel like I have that same convenience in my life again because I've learned different hacks, tips, and tricks to make cooking time shorter, to make sure that I am still eating on the go and while I'm at work. So convenience might be a thing at first, but it's just simply finding those places around you that have vegan options. There are a lot of places that have fast food uh, for vegans, like Burger King has an Impossible Burger, Subway has a salad. I'm at the point now to where I'm making my food. I don't like going to fast food chains. I'd rather go to like my favorite cafe, check in your city and see what cafes they have that have vegan options. All right, so convenient. That was number one. Number two, I would say it would be not having the proper knowledge. So not only did I not expect to have to start cooking again and things of that sort, I didn't know much about needing B12, omega-3s, protein, vitamin D. I wasn't aware of that. I just was simply going to be vegan to get healthier but i wasn't looking at it as a whole so you all i hope the wind isn't blowing past my voice it's like really blowing right now 
but I would definitely suggest taking a B12 pill, all right? You can get B12 in a food form. Nutritional yeast is super good. It's very high in folate, B12, a lot of good vitamins and nutritional yeast. It tastes like cheese, you all. It literally tastes like cheese. Try it on some popcorn, try it over a pasta dish. It's super delicious, all right? Uh, Omega-3s, you're definitely gonna need Omega-3s. Omega-3s are for the mind. You can get an algae source. So they sell these in your health food stores. So you can get an oil, something you can throw in smoothies or just in a dish, or you can get a pill. So I've been taking a pill recently. You can switch it up depending on how you like it, but you definitely wanna make sure you're taking it because it protects your brain from diseases like Alzheimer's and dis dementia when you get older, all right? Vitamin D. You definitely want to make sure you're getting enough vitamin D. So when it's the summertime, I don't take vitamin D because I'm out in the sun like every single day. But on those days where I'm not in the sun in the winter time, I definitely take a vitamin vitamin D dropper. All right. So I do that because I want to make sure that I'm not having too many pills. All right. So having the proper knowledge and just understanding uh, food as a whole. So when I first started, I would literally Google what are blueberries good for? What is quinoa? Did you all know that quinoa is technically a seed? It looks like rice or something, but it's a seed. And that just came from research. So I would really suggest that you get a little journal and just leave it open on the table. And when you get a chance, Google one food, figure out what it's good for, and it'll help you connect. So when you get in the store, you will be more likely to buy it and receive the benefits that that food has to offer. I'm gonna have some water really quickly, you all. All right, so when I first went vegan, I of course told my family, and it wasn't challenging telling my family, but my family had questions and concerns about it, like if I would be super tired, if I wasn't eating meat, if, Maybe I should start it later. They was thinking that because I was starting a job that would require me to move a lot. So they was afraid that I'd be tired, that, uh, that it could possibly not be beneficial. So I really appreciate those concerns because it helped increase my awareness. So what I did with the information was go straight to the internet and figure out how can I get protein as a vegan. And you all, I can honestly say I've never been protein deficient a day in my life, not even being vegan, okay? So just hearing the controversy about veganism, I know that was challenging for me because it was a lot of people saying it was amazing and it was healthy. And then there was opposing beliefs that it was not sustainable. And you all, I've almost been vegan for four years and I can tell you my body feels good. My mind feels good. And I'm just loving every bit of this lifestyle. Okay, so having the proper knowledge, telling family, convenience, community you all community was a big one for me i felt alone at first and that's simply because i didn't know anybody else that was vegan at the time i went vegan i wasn't really big on social media i created an instagram probably late 2017 okay i wasn't aware that people was being vegan on the internet for fun so when i found that out it made the journey a whole lot easier so that's why it's really good to watch channels like this people who inspire you I would definitely follow them um, I will say that they have a lot of magazines and books on healthy living one of my favorite magazines would be uh, veg and it has a bunch of recipes it has a bunch of testimonies and stories so that was really good that felt like community for me I also got on meetup.com and I had a vegan picnic with 24 other vegans, potluck style. It was really nice. And I got to hear so many of their stories and it just helped strengthen me on my journey. But you all, I did desire a friend that was vegan so I could talk to someone. Uh, my other friends, they're not vegan. They are supportive of the journey. So I'm so grateful for them for that. But. I did desire a friend, so what I decided to do for my life was to start working at health food stores. And you all, I've met so many people over the years who are doing the same thing that I'm doing, 
or maybe they're doing it in a different way but the mission on a lot of levels is the same so that connectedness was really good for me okay so i believe those were the most challenging things for me when going vegan as well as let me not forget to talk about uh, family gatherings the first year that i went vegan i was really sad that first year because i was just like how am i going to fully connect with my family over food if i cannot eat what they eat and my family took notice that first year because i didn't even put any effort into making vegan food because i wasn't really good at it at that point <laughs> now the journey has progressed and i can make a vegan dish in a minute but back then i was still figuring it out because i went vegan on september 1st 2017 and that's really close to christmas so at that point i wasn't <laughs> in the kitchen whipping it up like i am now and my family noticed how it made me feel so the next year for christmas and for thanksgiving they made sure that they prepared a meal for me because i was still learning a lot about the food and how to cook so them making that meal for me it really encouraged me and ever since then i've been making food during the holidays taking it over and my family really enjoys the dishes all right so i was concerned about that and i was also concerned about how i would go out to eat with my friends because i remember going vegan and the first place that i went with my friends was logan's it was a steakhouse you all <laughs> i know right so i went to logan's and i was like oh wow i don't eat meat anymore <laughs> it was all new for me i was trying to figure it out still and i ordered all veggie sides and i felt awkward because i was like this is different um and I was afraid of being looked at a certain way. Like I was kind of insecure back then about what I was doing, but it ended up turning out for the best because my friends, they're just super supportive. As I said before of my journey, they will go out to places with me and get vegan food. And as long as it's done right, you all, people really don't mind it is what I found out, okay? So those are the most challenging things for me when I first went vegan, but now, I have not experienced any of those things in a long time because of how far it's come. As far as convenience, I know how to cook my own food. I know hacks to make the cook time shorter. I know cafes. As far as the knowledge, I've done my research so I can make sure that I'm getting what I need in my diet. As far as family and friends, they support it. It's just, it's all love, you all. So the reason that I stuck with being vegan all this time was because of how it's made my body feel, you all. If you're into beauty and skincare, trust me, it is the best skincare regimen that you can have, all right? Aside from genetics, water, leafy greens, fruits, veggies of all sorts. So that really helps your skin, you all. Another really great benefit would be brain health. So you all, I'm super sharp. I have a lot of mental energy, mental focus. I've been achieving and accomplishing the things that I want to in my life and I'm just very grateful for that but I had to let those foods go that was giving me a lot of brain fog and not making me feel good when I woke up in the morning okay also I live close to the fire department <laughs> also digestive help you all so I poop three or four times a day and I'm super proud of that, you all. I know some people will say that's going to the bathroom a lot, but you all, you're supposed to go to the bathroom after you eat. It's really healthy for you. It gets all that yucky stuff out of you and it helps you to keep your weight in check, all right? So aside from the digestion, I feel physically strong. I will be 31 on tomorrow, you all, so I'm super excited. I'm actually doing a photo shoot for my birthday at two o'clock so if you're interested in seeing that photo shoot on tomorrow go ahead and follow me on instagram or facebook at uh, vegan flower child underscore on facebook just look for mercedes hudson up but you all it has so many benefits sickle cell let me not forget to talk about that i feel like my blood cells are performing better because i'm adding things like chlorophyll beets sarsaparilla leafy greens like i'm actually having good food go in my body to help my cells function better when i went vegan 
in almost four years i've only been in the hospital once so the proof is in the vegan pudding you all all right so this lifestyle it is definitely life-changing it will help you with anything that you have going on in your body just cleansing from animal products period because that stuff has things in it that you're not aware of nitrates look it up it has a bunch of cholesterol the eggs the cheese has a bunch of salt high blood pressure heart disease diabetes all that stuff is on the rise you all so to cleanse yourself I will go ahead and start being vegan today. Did that sound like an ad? <laughs> Probably did, but I meant it with the most sincere heart. I know it will help you because it's helped me so much. But you all, please leave in the comments below and let me know what you think about the video. Uh, tell me any videos that you would like for me to make or anything you would love for me to talk about. You can DM me on my social sites if you have questions. But I love you all and thank you so much for joining once again. Vegan Flower Child is out. See you later.